Hey guys, welcome to the Thursday edition of the Vinyl Den, your channel for record collecting by record collectors. My name is Nick. Today I'm going to talk about the new uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers album, Unlimited Love, but not necessarily what I really think of the album. There was a different kind of issue I had with this. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you click on that link down below. Go check out the Vinyl Den Facebook group. I know I say it every week, but it's just a cool place to continue the music conversation. doesn't necessarily have to be about vinyl records. We talk about really anything music related in there. There's also a couple other links down there. There's one for the Vinyl Den merch page. We got uh, Vinyl Den t-shirts and sweatshirts on there. There's a link for the Vinyl Den Spotify and Apple Music playlists where every week we're just compiling music we're talking about here on the channel, putting it together on a playlist for everyone to enjoy. Uh, there's also a link for the Vinyl Den uh, Patreon page. If you want to support the show, it's always greatly appreciated. You can support the show for as little as a dollar a month. Of course, if you enjoyed the episode, make sure you give me the old thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below and make sure you hit that notification bell so you're notified every time we release new episodes. So like many of you out there, I was uh, I was really excited to check out the new Red Hot Chili Peppers album. I've been a big fan of their music since, uh, you know, it's probably the early 90s when I, when I first got into them. And their music has definitely evolved over the last, you know, 30 years. And uh, so I was really kind of excited to see how they kind of, what, uh, what avenue, which way they went with the new album. Came out on, on, on April 1st, and I held off on listening to any of the singles or anything until I could actually sit down and finally listen to the entire album on vinyl. Which I've done for, you know, just a, a number of releases over the last couple of years. But first off, the, like, the big thing I noticed was how many variants there were of this. Which, you know, you guys know me, I'm a... I'm a, a big fan of color variants, so I kind of get into some of that stuff. If I really love an album, you know, yeah, I've got no problem buying, a, you know, a couple of different variants, color variants, especially if there's different album covers. Uh, you know, I definitely love getting the uh, the alternate album covers, which I will say there was one alternate cover for Unlimited Love, but it ended up being pretty hard to find. I couldn't track down a copy, and the copy I did find online was way more than I was willing to pay for it. I will say that right off the bat, you know, I the first time through the album, you know, I, I actually enjoyed it. I, you know, I thought it was a really good album. You know, I wasn't really blown away by much on there, but uh, you know, I, I wasn't really expecting to be. I, uh, you know, I, I think the main thing that I really noticed when I got to the record store. So when I got to my local record store on the morning it uh, it was released, they had three different versions of it. They had a black version, which is a standard black version. There was a uh, deluxe gatefold version, and then they had the, I think it was the orange uh, indie exclusive. I'll put a picture up of all the different exclusives that, uh, or different color variants that they had for this album. And Red Hot Chili Peppers did something kind of cool for this release that I haven't seen any other bands or, or artists do. And uh, they actually put a, a website together you can go to, and you could track down all the different variants in your area. So that was kind of cool if you did get into, or if you were looking for a specific variant to go on there and try to track down exactly what you're looking for. But anyway, I got to the record store. All three of the the releases that they had were all priced pretty similarly. So, but I didn't know which one I wanted to grab. And then I kind of looked, started looking at it, and I realized that there was only one gatefold version of this album. And it was the deluxe version, which is really no different than the standard 2LP black version, except for it comes with a poster, which I'll show you the poster. But I, I was really kind of, I guess, kind of dumbfounded why they did the, the packaging this way. Like I said, I'm all for a bunch of different variants. I think a lot of them are kind of cool. I love... You know, finding different colors of it, you know, like I said, especially if it's an album I love, like the Greta Van Fleet album that came out last year, I own every variant of it other than the standard black version. So, you know, I'm not going to sit here and complain about all the different variants. I actually kind of get into a lot of that. My issue was more so with the packaging. Like, I understand, you know, only having maybe a several different uh, versions that come with the gatefold, but you know, there's really no reason why this was the only version. And I'll show you the gatefold. You know, just a just a picture of the band inside. You know, nothing really spectacular about the gatefold itself. That's the back cover. I um, you know, I would kind of expect maybe the color variants to come with the gatefold, and then just the standard black be just a black and a sleeve with a, with a poster, you know, kind of combine what the standard black version with the deluxe version was. Cause was, like I said, there was really, unless I'm missing something, there's nothing really deluxe about this release other than it comes with a poster. Like I said, I'll pull the poster out. 
I don't know. Uh, I will say musically, uh, Flea does an incredible job on this album. I think it's some of the best bass work that Flea has done. You know, on a Red Hot Chili Peppers album, you know, probably in the last 20 years. You know, yeah, some of their earlier work, especially like the pre-Blood Sugar Sex Magic, uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers, those kind of songs, I think had a better funk feel for, for and F- uh, Flea kind of fit better with the music. But uh, his bass playing on this album is just absolutely fantastic. This is the, so the poster is just a, just a poster, just a picture of the band. I know, like I was getting ready to say, though, I know Flea did a, almost like an unboxing kind of video on his uh, Facebook page and, you know, talked about the album and the the poster and everything. But, uh, yeah, it's kind of cool. You know, I don't, I'm not one of those people that kind of gets into posters. I don't really frame any of them. But um, with this album and this release, though, I, I feel it was kind of strange not to have the gatefold on the other editions just to have this because that was i mean that was the whole reason i ended up going with this version just because the gatefold you know i would rather have the better packaging you know the the gatefold and all that with the this release than the the color i guess if i i wasn't a huge fan of the album if i was i'd probably just go out and buy you know, well, the current color variants, and I still might do that if I can grab it on sale somewhere. But, uh, you know, it's a good album. I was just really disappointed in the packaging on this. Well, that's all I got for you today, guys. Thanks for checking the show out. Drop me a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about this. Did the packaging really bother you at all with this Red Hot Chili Peppers album? And, you know, while you're at it, let me know what you think about the album also. Because, like I said, the first time I went through it, I thought it was a really good album. You know, it wasn't, I wasn't blown away by anything that they did on there, but I think it's better than some of the last couple of uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers albums. But uh, let me know what you guys think. If you enjoyed the episode, make sure you give me the old thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below. And that's all I got. Until next time, keep on spinning. Peace. <laughs>